really hoping that it is. It is full, sweet. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in Cobalt. I'm out with Jay today, although he's not beside me, he's way that way. He's digging, I don't even know where. He just kind of took off and I can hear him in the background. So I have a few cool things in the hole here. So I'm gonna turn around the camera and show you guys what we're finding because it looks pretty cool to me. Some of the stuff seems to be still in a pot as well. So that's really neat. So I'm gonna turn it around and show you guys what I'm seeing. What I'm met with here now behind me is, looks like, oh, I don't wanna hit my mic on things. It's gonna hit things anyways. There's a torpedo looking bottle in there. We also got a bottle inside this pot right there. So I'm gonna try pulling this pot live. See if I can, oh, there's another bottle right in it actually. Sorry if I got shaky camera on you guys. Uh, okay, whoa, look at that, look at that. So I'm gonna guess this is a salad dressing bottle. Uh, yes it is, it's, uh, we found one of these earlier too in another episode. Uh, Royal salad dressing, Horton, uh, cat. Something, manufacturing company, Detroit, Michigan. And I think that's purple as well too, so very nice. Love the embossing on these, very common bottle, though still very neat. Um, what else came out of here? This guy, oh, broken, definitely broken. Although there is, you can see a square bottle in there too as well. Oh, the other torpedo looking one was broken, it just rolled out, ah, darn it. Or uh, ballast, I think that's what that is. So this one, I might have to grab it with my other hand that's not gloved. Um, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, it is full, it is. Oh, nice, it's a Gordon Drive Gin, awesome. Check that out. Lovely, here, I'll wipe it off a bit. Um, this way, England, or London, Gordon's Dry Gin, England. Very lovely color on that as well. Nice find, they are common. Embossed on both sides as well. Still has a bit of the sealer on it too as well. You can see there, that is very neat. Very, very neat. Um, okay, I'm gonna clear that a little bit more, but that was all inside that pot when it was thrown out, I bet. So uh, catch you guys in a bit when more things start coming out of this slayer here. We've been pulling out again a ton of broken uh, cobalt bottles. We're gonna be turning into glasses there. Uh, Jay also brought this one over. It says uh, Boston, what is it? Boston US large size. Very cool, lovely color to that as well. So that's a really neat bottle. The uh, reason why I turn on the camera is we have something stoneware right there. Again, this is uh, this hole's been producing a lot of stoneware apparently. And then we also have down here, if you can see it, there's a bottle right here. Uh, ooh, oh, it's a hull brick. Nice, they're very common but lovely bottle. I love these things, uh, Hallbrook & Co. The reason why I love them, look at the color. The color is what I love about these. Oh, oh, you know what? A little bit of a crack, got a big ant crawling on me, don't want that guy to bite me. There we go. Ah, uh, darn. Ah, uh, Jay will probably keep it though, make a nice little display. Just along the side there, bit of a crack. Lovely color though, Hallbrook & Co. Okay, uh, and that one I'm really excited for. Um, I hope, I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, there's a bit of a chip, but tiny little chip. That is freaking cool. Holy jeez. What in, uh, okay. I don't, I don't know. Uh, ink bottle maybe. Look at that thing. That is heavy too. Sweet, <laughs> that's freaking cool. I'm happy with that. That's my third stoneware thing this trip. We've been digging now straight for six days straight. We've been digging every day. So uh, it's been kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. That is freaking cool. That is freaking cool, okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. Well, moving on, it's too bad about that little chip, but that's, that's nothing, it'll display great like that. Cool, 
I don't think there's anything else in the hole, but if there is, we'll turn on the camera again. And it's starting to dip down. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to slope down that way. So there's a pile of dirt right there, which I really don't want to dig through. But we're, <laughs> if they keep producing these cool stoneware things, I'm definitely going to keep going. It's a pain. You move like uh, five feet of fill to get through one to two feet of undug stuff. So, or not fill, but re already dug stuff. So we're going to keep going and see what more comes out. Got an awesome pocket down here. Tons of stuff poking out, but I want to show uh, this heartbreaker. Uh, New Ontario Bottling Company, North Bay. That would have been lovely. That was in the undug layer too, just it was broken. So anyone who's local, you might want to cry with me seeing that one. Um, so over here, we got, let's start with this one. I'm pretty sure it's a flask. Yeah, it is a flask. That's a lovely looking color too. Ooh, that's a lovely flask. Oh my, lovely flask. Nice uh, applied top to it as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, now in the hole here, we got one right here that fell out. Uh, wow, that's a lovely color too. Holy jeez. Nice, nice little jar, but lovely color. All right, uh, next, this one here wants to come out. Oh, it looks like it's cracked though. Oh, it's cracked, dang it. It was just a... Uh, Again, uh, uh, another aqua whiskey bottle, but it's cracked, so that's a no-go. There's an interesting looking bottle of some sort poking out right there. Uh, gonna see what that is in a second. Uh, we also pulled out this, sadly it's broken, make a great cup again. It's a uh, Reitonen and uh, Vigrin Bottling Works, Cobalt Ontario. Very lovely bottle, but too bad it is broken. Like I said, a uh, nice purple too, gonna make it into a drinking glass. Um, there's this one here which has a lip chip right there sadly, but it is a Henry K. Wampool uh, Co. Uh, Limited, uh, Perth, Ontario, Canada. So, too bad that that's chipped though. I'll probably still take it. I might give it to Jay, he'll like it, he'll display it. Very cool bottle. Uh, also got this one here. Uh, just says uh, Made in USA on it. Made in USA. So, no idea what the heck, that would have been probably a extract of some sort. And the last one I wanted to show was this one right here, sadly it's broken. Uh, it just says made in Canada, uh, bottle contains uh, one full ounce, I think it says, or one full quart, sorry. That would have been very nice, that was an undug layer, it was broken, I found a bunch of pieces to it sadly. So we're gonna go to this one, I'm gonna use my ungloved hand. Uh, okay, maybe it's just an embossed thing, maybe a water bottle? Uh, oh, hey, oh, it's, uh, oh, gross. Um, oh, it's an Underwood ink, how oh, cool. Uh, Underwood, Underwood's ink. Very cool, Jay actually found the blue version of this one uh, earlier in our trip. I'll put a picture up if I remember. Underwood ink, very cool. Inks, sorry, very neat bottle, huh. Too bad it's not uh, blue, but hey, I'll still take it. Very lovely bottle still. Uh, it's not purple either. It's like a light, light, light aqua. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, Jay actually has something in his hole right now. He's using his uh, cell phone. I'm gonna scoot over there. He sent me a picture of what it was before he dug it out. So it is a very cool find, guys. So I'm gonna scoot over that footage now. I have no idea how he, how he uh, uh, did it, but uh, I'll scoot over there right now and hopefully it's not too much of an awkward transition. So i uh, catch you guys over with Jay. So I'm digging over on the other side of the hill. I got a decent sized hole going um, and there is a blue bottle. Now it looks like it might be a milk of magnesia. So fingers crossed. Uh, I've just been pulling out a ton of slicks. Nothing, nothing too special yet. So go in the hole here. Uh, it feels, feels full. So I'm really hoping that it is, it is full, sweet. Freaking awesome, Phillips Milk of Magnesia. It has the 1906 patent date on it. Lovely aqua color on that. I don't think I've ever seen one of the blue ones in this light of an aqua. Wow, that is really awesome. And I do, oh, it's also, it's tool, it's uh, applied top. Nice. That is definitely my find of the day so far. Sweet. 
Well, we're uh, we're gonna be packing up. It's been uh, quite a long day for us. We've moved a ton of dirt and trees and just random stuff. So this layer here was dug. I was just kind of going through it. Uh, we got this one right in here. It has a cool looking thing on it. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's in the dug layer too, so I don't know what that would have been. Cool top to it though. That is really cool. I think I'll be taking that. Very neat. And then also on our collapse too, this thing came out, which is probably just a jar. Yeah, like an ink jar with some glossing on it. Uh, Bovril uh, celery salt. Oh, that's different. I think it's purple too. Well, that's cool. Hey, it's on both sides too. That's neat. Yeah, Bovril celery salt. Neat. That's a cool little find. I also want to show this again. We found another. New Ontario Bottling Company, North Bay, another one. Too bad, that's gonna make a nice glass. I'll probably cut it off from about there. That, that's gonna be a keeper though for a glass. Uh, we also got this broken one too. A, uh, it's a newer one, a Laflembros North Cobalt, Ontario. Haven't pulled out one of those yet. Too bad it is broken, but again, make a very nice cup. Very cool bottle. Um, got a bunch of other broken cobalts here, broken uh, aerated and a broken, two broken aerated actually. Oh no, this is a Vikram. This is that Vikram I showed you guys earlier. Uh, Jay also pulled out this, really disheartening. That is a 16 ounce poison, I think. That would have been absolutely lovely. But uh, that was also in the dug layer, so I uh, kind of didn't think that was going to be full. Uh, I don't think there's anything new. Oh yeah, I want to show this just off the left here. What does everyone think that, that looks like? That looks like a uh, 1900s bong of some sort. I don't know if it was, I doubt it was. It just, just looks like a very funny looking item. Um, also got this very nice aqua jar too as well. So we're gonna do a wrap up there for you guys, show everyone what we got today, because there is quite a bit. So I'll meet you guys at the wrap up. Oh, and there's also this. It's a full doorknob with both the, the uh, porcelain doorknobs on it. I thought that was kind of funny looking to show. So I'll meet you guys at the wrap up there. So we're packing up. Our bottle tree is growing bigger and bigger every day from things we don't know if they're purple or not. So we'll come back later and maybe next year and see if they're purple. Um, this is a lot of stuff we found today. There's a big old wide shot of it. Mostly broken stuff though, weirdly enough. Uh, so we'll start off again, all the broken cobalts. Uh, we're gonna be making into uh, glasses, uh, even down here. And then the awesome uh, Lefrem below, Lefrem. The phlegm, I think it is, bros. That's a really nice one. I'm gonna make into a glass. Uh, and then there was, uh, I don't know where it went, but there, there was, there was that uh, bottling works one from uh, North Bay. Uh, we got the full cobalt bottle today, the awesome Gordon's Dry Gin. We got the cool flask, uh, the awesome colored ones here. Uh, they're really nice looking. Uh, the Hallbrook one that had a little bit of a crack in it. Again, these are all broken. Uh, we just showed these ones here. We've got that uh, salad dressing bottle, the cool looking ink bottle i think that one is very cool we're going to display quite nicely tons of alcohol bottles over here uh, we've got that awesome underwood uh, underwood inks and that is actually purple uh, we're looking it's actually going to be turning purple so that's going to be really cool um more purple bottles here all these ones on the side here are purple bottles uh, these are purple bottles aqua and then jay also has a bucket of uh purple bottles so um a yeah a few buckets of stuff so yeah jay's gonna show you what he found because he has a few buckets of stuff back where he is so catch you guys over by jay's uh shenanigans so this is all the stuff i found today i didn't really do much filming but i pulled out earlier really nice cobalt aerated water lovely aqua on that uh, oh, this is one that Adam dug up, not sure if he showed it, but it's a uh, Henry K. Wampool. A bit of a lip chip, but he gave it to me, so thank you, Adam. And then my favorite find of the day, Philips Milk of Magnesia. Really nice color on that. My first uh, applied top one, so it's definitely a keeper. And then we just got lots of aquas and purples, crucible, uh, stoppers. Pulled out also Castoria earlier and Menard's Liniment and just a bunch of random random odds and ends. And I also found this one earlier. It looks I, I was hoping it would be embossed, uh, but it's just just a plain slick. So we're gonna be heading out for the day. Probably come back tomorrow. So we'll catch you guys in the next video and happy digging.